Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming on my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit on post notifications so you never miss a video, and comment down below. Again, this is number two. I got the drip of the teddy bear on the day. Again, today. Oh, Black History. Black History Month is going to start as a uh, talking about Frederick Jones. Frederick Jones was an inventor who was responsible for the creation of the cooling system on refrigerator truck. Born May 17, 1893 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Jones dropped out of school, excuse me, dropped out of school at the age of nine after his mother died. A priest raised him from the age until he was 16 in Kentucky. An avid reader, <clears throat> sorry, Jones worked as a mechanic apprentice, learning to, or learning the inner and outer workings of motor vehicles. By the time he was 19, Jones built and drove cars as a race as a racer in the great great lakes region while serving in the army in world war one he worked as an electrician and wired his camp with power telegraph and telephone service after his discharge he moved to minnesota whoops wait a minute I'm reading this from Facebook, by the way. Go figure. Uh, let's see. After his discharge, he moved to Minnesota where he built a snowball, a snowmobile out of an old airplane body fashioned with skis, with skis and a motor. He used this so-called snow machine to aid doctors in the snowy region of Har Harlock on their house call. Jones continued to create amazing inventions, including a portable x-ray machine, a radar transmitter, and personal radar device. That's to kick it off right here, just to kick it off. Okay, let's see. Let's go and see famous black inventors. That's what I want to see. There we go. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we got here now. Let's see. Let a legendary black in investors. No, I don't want that one. I'm oh, supposed to be inventors. Inventor. Oh, look at the sun getting ready to come out. That's what I'm talking about. I need to go to the park anyway. Uh, let's see. I need to go there and think. Let's see right here. This right here is African American inventors. Uh, let's see. William Harry Bond. Let's see what this is. See what they fix, you know. Black like history man ain't just about history, you know. It's about people who invented stuff too. So we're gonna knock down some of these right here. If my eyes let me do it, we can do it, baby. Okay. Come on, man. All right. Now this this website ain't gonna let me do it. Let me go to another website. Let's go to history. History normally good for that. Eight is black inventors who made daily life easier. Black inventors changed the way we live through their contributions from traffic light to the ironing board. Most people have heard about famous inventors like the light bulb, the cotton, the cotton gin, and the iPhone. Uh, but there are countless others often overlooked 
inventors that make our daily lives easier. Among the creative, uh, let's see, behind those devices are African American inventors. From the traffic light to the ironing board, see a list of products that have sprung from the minds of black investors. Improved ironing board invented by Sarah, oh, Sarah, Sarah Boone in 1892. The ironing board is the, mo is the pro product that's used j possibly just as much as it's overlooked in the late 19th century. It was improved upon by Sarah Boone, Boone, an African-American woman who was born enslaved, one of the first black women in the United States history to receive a patent. Well, I did not know that, man, seriously. A patent, she expanded upon the original ironing board, which, it, which was essentially a, a wooden block originally originally patent in 1858 with Boone's 1892 edition the board featured a narrow and curved design making it easier to iron garments particularly women's clothing Boone's design would morph into the modern ironing board that is you that we use today Okay, Eric Jackson wins historic, historic gold medal in speed skating. The 29-year-old sometimes refers to, to her job as skiing in circles. On Sunday night in Belgium, she was crowned best in the world at just that. Home security system, co-invented by Mary Van Britten, Brown in, in 1966. Before security systems became a feature in home, an African American nurse, Mary Van Britton Brown, devised an early security unit for her own home. She spent many nights at home, alone in Queens, New York, while her husband was away and felt unsafe with high rates of crime in her neighborhood. On top of that, police were unreliable and unresponsive. So she created a device that would be help, that would help her put her mind at ease. In 1966, Brown invented a system that used a camera that could slide into the look around, look through four four peepholes in her front door. The camera view would then appear as a monitor in her home, so she could survey the potential unwanted guests. She added other features to the system, including a microphone to speak to anyone at the door, a button to unlock the door, and a button to contact the police. She and her husband took out a patent for the system in the same year, and they were awarded. Yeah, I'll turn this around. It sounds in my face. Love and happiness. What's going on, Tay Vlog, Tara? I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. My eyes are dirty. Hey, and I hope your procedure come out came out with you, you know it did. It's just my vision comes and goes. That's all. That's all down. I'm just waiting patiently so the God of stars can heal my eye and uh, I'll be all right. I gotta keep going though. <laughs> gotta get this time in. Um uh, let's see. She and her husband took out a patent for the system in the same year, and they were awarded the patent three years later in, in 1969. Home security systems commonly used today 
took various elements from her design. That's what they do. They take, they steal. The three light traffic signal invented by Garrett Morgan in 1923. With only an elementary school education, black inventor and son of the en enslaved parent, Garrett Morgan, well, you know that, ain't that funny? came up with the several, several significant inventors, including an improved sewing machine and the gas mask. However, one of Morgan's most influential inventors, inventions was the improved traffic light. Morgan was one of the first three light systems that were invented in the 1920s, resulting in widespread adoption for the traffic light we take for granted today. Let's see here. Irwin Jackson wins historical, oh, oh man. Okay, historical gold medal for speed skating. I think I just read that. I did. I'm not going to read it again. Let's see what it is. Thanks to the success, uh, his other inventions, Morgan bro. Oh, oh no, it's the same. It's not the same thing. Irwin, Irwin Jackson wins historic gold medal speed skating. 29 year old, sometimes refers to her job as skating in circles. Yeah, I just read that. Let's see. Yeah. Refrigerated truck. You know, I just read that one. Okay, so it's repeating itself. Hmm. Automatic elevator doors invented by Alexander Miles in 1887. The use of elevators in everyday life keeps people from commuting to long and grueling climbs up several flights of stairs. However, before the creation of the elevator doors that closed automatically, riding a lift was both complicated and risky. Before automatic doors, people had to manually shut both the shaft and elevator doors before riding. Beginning to do so led to multiple accidents as people fell down elevator shafts as the story goes. When the, when the daughter of African-American inventor Alexandra Miles almost fatally fell down the shaft, he took it upon himself to develop a solution. In 1887, he took out a patent for a mechanism that automatically opens and closes elevator doors, chef doors, and for designs are largely in, reflected in elevators used today. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Let's see. Electric, electric. Microphone code invented by James E. West in 1964. Even for those who aren't quick to pick up the mic during karaoke, <laughs> wow, microphones are used every day to communicate other distances far and wide, and the vast majority of microphones used today include this including this microphones used in phones and cameras, use a microphone co-invented by a black man, Dr. James E. West, was tasked, was tasked in creating a, a more sensitive and compact microphone while working at Bell Labs in 1960. Okay. 
I'm telling you, these things that they they re is re going over and over and over, over and over and over. So I have to skip through some of them just to get to the ones I want to read. Let me see. Along along with his German colleague Gerald Sis Sizzler West invented the full electric microphone, which was considerably less expensive to produce than the typical used con consensor microphone. Two years after he was, it was invented, the final model of the microphone were developed and in 1964, they patented the landmark inventor invention. Only four years later, the new microphones was the wide production and was being used in hearing aid, tape recorders, most telephones, and baby monitors. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Carbon light bulb fret filament invented by Lewis Lattimore in 1881. The light bulb itself was perfect by Thomas Edison, but the innovation used to create longer lasting light but with a carbon figment came from African American invention inventor Lewis Lattimore. Lattimore, the son of the former enslaved people began work to patent law firm after serving in the military for the Union during the Civil War. He was recognized for his talent, drafting patience, and was promoted to head draftman, hmm. where he is co-invented and improved bathroom or for railroad trains. His success wounded Garden Garner him further att attraction attention for the U.S. Electric Lighting Company, putting him at the company in direct competition with Edison in 1880. While there, Lattimore patented a new filament for the light bulb using carbon instead of more incendiary materials like bam, bamboo, or oh, you know they use bamboo. Like bamboo, they were commonly used for filament. The addition of the carbon filament increased the lifespan and It's hard to see this stuff, man. I don't, I don't lie. Of the light bulb, which had <clears throat> previously died after a just a few days. In 1884, he went to work with Edison at the Edison Electric Light Company. Like again. Reading is fine, but reading is killing me. I'm trying everything. Okay. Anyway, let me keep going. I got to press on. Uh, color IBM PC monitor and gigahertz chip co-invented by Mark Dean C. 1980 to 1999. Before flat screens, and high definition, high definition LCD monitors were the norm. PC displays were limited to screens with no color that were teetered to computers with limited processing power. That all changed things to change to all change thanks to black inventor. And engineer Mark Dean. Dean became began working on IBM as a chief engineer in the early 1980s.
making up a team of 12 people. Yeah, I'm trying to focus, boy. Focus, man. People who developed the first IBM PC in addition to becoming, to helping create IBM's original machine in his early years with the company. He also worked to develop the color monitor and led the team that developed the first gigahertz process, processor. The massive chip built in 1990, in 1999, would allow for 4-4 four, four higher. There you go again, that 4-4 four, four today. Processing rates at faster speed within PCs. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see what else we can find. You see, that was eight. That was eight uh, black inventors who made daily life easier. Let's see, ten ten important black inventors in the U.S. history. Yeah, there we go. Let's read these ten. The these ten in, in invent inventors are just a few of the many black Africans who have made important contributions to businesses, industri industry, medicine, and technology. Number one, Madam C.J. Walker, December the 23rd, 1867 to May 25th, 1919. Born Sarah Bre Breelove, Madam C.J. Walker became the first black woman millionaire by inventing a line of cosmetic and hair products aimed at black consumers in the first descent in the first decades of the 20th century. Walker Walker pioneered the use of female cell agents who traveled door to door across the US and Caribbean selling her product. Wait a minute, I'm trying to find where I am. Okay. An early, an early champion of employee de development and offered businesses training and other educational opportunities to her workers as a means of helping other black women achieve financial independence. Number two. George Washington Carver, 1861 to January the 5th, 1943. George Washington Carver became one of the leading. That's a good question, but that is. Where do we see? Are you of his time pioneering numerous uses of peanuts, soybeans, and sweet potatoes in large from birth, oh, enslaved from birth in the Missouri, in the, in the midst of the Civil War, Carver was fascinated by plant from his early age as the first black undergraduate, undergraduate student at Iowa State. He studied, he studied soybean fung, fung, fungus, fungi, and developed new means of crop rotation. After earning his master's degree, Carter accepted a job at Alabama's Tuskegee Institute, a leading historically black universe, university. It was at Tuskegee that Carver made the greatest contribution of science, developing more than 300 U's for the peanut alone, including soup, skin loose, lotion, and paint. Lonnie Johnson, born October 6, 1949. Inventor Lonnie Johnson holds more than 800 U.S. patents 
but it his invention. Uh, the super soaker toy that is perhaps the most un undearing claim to fame. An engineer by training, Johnson was has worked on both the stealth bomber project for the Air Force and the Galileo Spare probe for NASA. He also developed a means of harassing solar and geo geothermal energy for power plants. The super soaker first patent in 1896 is just most popular and it is his most popular invention. It is racked the, it has racked up more than one billion in sales since its release. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying. This reading is killing the brother. George, with no more excuses, them, because I gotta keep going. George Edward Alcorn Jr. is the Pacific whose work in the what is this? Industrial help revolutionized astrophysics and semiconductor manufacturing. He is created with twenty inventions. He has he has credit. He is credited for twenty inventions. Wait a minute. Where am I? At? Eight of which. He received patent for perhaps his best known invention is for an X-ray spectrometer used to analyze distance, galaxy, and other deep space phenomena, which he patented in 1984. Alcon. Alcorn, <laughs> Alcorn, wow. Research into plasma etching for which he received, which he, oh, one minute. And, 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 and he, he still used in production of computer chips as known as semiconductor. Ah, oh, boy. Benjamin Banner Neeker? I don't know how to say that. Let's say Benjamin. We'll find out what it is in a minute. November the 9th, 1731 to October the 9th, 1806. Benjamin was, was a self-educated astron ast astronomer, mathematician, and former he was among a few hundred free black Americans living in Maryland, where enslavement was legal at the time. Among his many accomplishments, Benjamin is perhaps best known for a series of almanacs he published between 19, I mean, eight, 1792 to 1797 that contain detailed astronomical calculations of his, as well as writings on topics of, this, of the day. Benjamin also had a small ruler, a small role in helping the survey Washington DC in 1791. I'm gonna end it right there because uh, this reading is, is getting to me. This reading is getting to me. <sighs> oh, boy. Let's see. Charles Jew, June the 3rd, 1904, April the 1st, 1950. 
Charles Drew was a doctor and medical researcher who pioneered research into blood helped thousands of lives during World War II. As a postgrad, it's a postgraduate research researcher at Columbia University in the late 1930s. Drew invented invented a means of, of separating plasma from whole blood, allowing it to be stored for up to a week. Far longer than he had been possible at the time. Drew also discovered the plasma that plasma could be transferred between persons regardless of blood type and help the British government establish its first national blood bank. Drew also worked briefly with the American Red Cross during World War II, but he resigned to protest the organization in insistence on segregation, blood from white and black donors. He continued to research, teach and advocate until the death of, in 1950 in, in a car accident. Now, with that note, I'm going, I'm going on. What's up, Wolf? What's going on, man? Man, I'm trying to get through this joint, man. Where's, where's with Freggle, Freggle Mom, Mama? I hope I said your name right. Thank you for coming. Thank you, guys, girl, for coming in. I'm trying to read this thing, man. It's, it's getting on me. Thomas L. Jennings. 1791, February the 12th, 1856. Thomas Jennings holds the distinctness of being the first black African American to be granted a, a patent, a tailor, a tailor by trade in New York City. Jennings applied for and received a patent in 1821 for a cleaning technique technique he pioneered called dry dry scoring it was a process what's this? it was a process of, to today's dry cleaning his invention made Jennings a wealthy man and he used his earnings to support early anti-enslavement activism and civil rights organization. Let me say this. Focusing is terrible with me. But again, there's no excuses. I have to press on. I have to press on. So y'all just got to please bear with me. Uh, Eli McCoy, May the 2nd, 1844, the October the 10th, 1929. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Eli McCoy was born in Canada, was born in Canada to parents who had been enslaved in the USA. The family resettled in Michigan a few years after Eli, Elijah was born. What did I say? Eli is Elijah. Mm -hmm. I lost where I was at now. That being said, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just chat with y'all in the chat because right now my eyes won't let me read what I want to read. And me, um, me being trying to focus at the same time, 
I have to move my eyes side to side so I can see. And I mean, you know, it's just it's just aggravating. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Going live for Black Houston Month has been a, was at the in the beginning it was okay, but as soon as I had that procedure done, it's like, man, I can't see nothing. It's like off and on, off and on, off and on. I mean, I try my best though. What's up, Oreo Mouse? How you doing? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I appreciate that. I need that more than anything. Philippians 4 13. <sighs> well, I'm going to struggle on. I'm not one to give up easily. Believe that. Okay. See where I was. After training at, as an engineer in Scotland as a teen, he returned to the U.S. Un able to find a job in engineering because of racial discrimination. McCoy found work as a railroad fireman. That fireman? Yeah, fireman. He was, it was while working in the role that he developed a new means of keeping incommodive engineers lubricated while running along them to operate longer between maintenance. McCoy continued to refine this and other inventions during his lifetime, received 60 patents. Oh. Ah, boy. Man, hey, I peek, I keep I thank y'all for the scriptures, man. I thank y'all for that. Let's see. Garnet Morgan, March the 4th, 1877 to July 27th, 1943. Garnet Morgan is best known for his invent invention in 1914 of a safety hood and processor to the gas man. Morgan was so confident in his inv invention's potential that he frequently demonstrated it himself in sales sales pitches pitches to the fire to the fire department across the country in 1916 he earned widespread widespread acclaim after what's this donning 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 a safety hood to rescue workers who were trapped by an explosion in the tunnel beneath Lake Erie near Cleveland. Morgan later would invent out it would invent one of the first traffic signals and a new church. Oh clutch. I'm sorry. Fifth for the automotive transmission. Oh man, I messed that up. Active in the early Civil, civil rights movement. He helped found one of the first black African-American newspapers in Ohio, the Cleveland Call. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. James Edward Marcio West, born February the 10th, 1931. If you if you ever used a microphone, you have John West to thank for it. West was fascinated by radio and electronics from the early age, and he trained as a psychiatrist. For as a psychiatrist, after college, he went to work at Bell Lab. Where research on how humans here led to his invention of the four electric 
microphone in 1960. Such devices were more sensitive, yet they used less power and were smaller than other microphones at the time. And they re, 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 uh, re uh, I said they wrong. And they re, re, revolutionized the field of acoustic. Today, four electric style microphones are used in, in everything from telephones to computers. I must say that was hard to read. H A R D hard. Get it off my thing, man. Oh boy. After reading that right there, my eyes need a break. But let me go on here and see what's going on. See what's cracking lacking. Mm -hmm. And we and we'll go from there. Let's see. Again, thank everybody for coming in. You know, it's been a rough day. Oh, my eyes, boy, I tell you. I do not, I do not want to go through the injection again in four weeks. I got almost three weeks to go. I don't want to go through that again because I can't. It's hard to focus. I have to blink my eyes once or twice. I have to tune the light down some, put my head over my eyes. You can't see what I'm looking at. I mean, it was just a struggle, man. It is. It's just a fun, daggone struggle. Sorry about the phone. Let me cut that off. Yeah, but it's just a struggle, man. You know, just yeah, just keep me in your prayers, man. It's like I want to go live. Then again, my my mind tells me no, but my heart says yes. So I just take my time and read. I mean, it's just just what it is, you know. Do I get frustrated? Yes, I do. Do I know? Uh, God can heal me. Yes, I do. But it's just, I don't know, man. To be honest, yeah, I got my little teddy bear thing on today. To be honest, I get discouraged all the time, man, about doing, going live, going live. So I just got to keep pressing on. Hopefully, uh, by next week, I'll be able to see a little bit better, you know. Um, I don't know. Just so much going on. Yeah, me too, guys, girl. Me too. Because <laughs> I'm getting tired of... I'm getting tired. Real quick, I'm getting tired real quick. But it is what it is because, like I said, I got to press on. I got to keep doing what I'm doing. Got to keep getting this watch time up. Now, making a video ain't no problem. Because I know what I'm going to say when I do the video. If, I, if I'm still reading off the phone, I still know what I'm going to say. I can put little pictures in, which I may I may go back to doing. But, uh, you know, Black History Month ain't only got that much that much more to go as far as reading. As far as March and all the rest of it, it'd be easy for me because St. Patrick's Day is in, is in March. I can think of something to say for St. Patrick's Day. Um Let's see, Easter coming up. I got something to say about Easter. You know, it's just the little stuff. But as far as Black History Month, Black History Month is uh, a little bit on the hard side for me because it inquire, it requires a lot of reading. But I did read some some Black History uh, events. So not Black History. I did read some Black inventors that that um. Invented a lot of stuff like the uh, the ironing board, the traffic light, uh, as you read, um, the microphone, telephone, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of stuff. But hey, it is what it is. Hey, what can I say? I'm gonna let that enthusiasm come out for a little while. Should put me a little jewelry on, but I said, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I said yesterday I was gonna put my other teddy bear on, so I put my other teddy bear shirt on. We're in pink day, and we'll see what happens later on. What, what you put up, buddy? Yeah, me too, man. I, I, I mean, yes, please, Lord.
Yes, please do that. Because, man, this is my lifeline. This is my lifeline right here. I love reading. I love getting online, man. First, let me tell you, the first day I got online, I was kind of, what would you say, scared, iffy, iffy about it. I'm not really scared because I get in front of the camera every day. But I was kind of iffy. I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Uh, but when I got on here, though, it was like all fun and games. I'm like, yo, if I can get up here, if I can get up here on game night and lollygag and talk smack and do all this, and I can get in front of my own camera and do my own thing and talk to everybody. That's just, that's just me. You know what I mean? So let me see if I can find some else to read because I'm enjoying these inventors. I learned a lot of stuff from these inventors because some of the inventors that invent that has invented things back in the days is the stuff we use today. Like for example, the one who invented the um the snowmobile. I read about that. Or maybe the one who invented the refrigerator that, that's on these refrigerated trucks. Who knew that? I didn't know that. I didn't know they invented that some of this some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is no new to me. Wolf, you is going off the chain, brother. I love that. I love that. I love it. I love it. I need to bring, I need to get be easy up in here so you can come up on the stage. <laughs> well, my buddy, boy, let me tell you. Um, but let me read some, let me read something else because. It gets better because, uh, again, all this stuff that we use today, the traffic light, I mean, traffic light, uh, you know, it's a bunch of other stuff on here. Let me see if I can find something else. I'm just not going to quit right there. I just don't, it don't sit right in my heart to stop. So let me find something else. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Let me see what this right here. See what how prominent this right here is. Now I will say if that part, this part right here was black, it wouldn't it wouldn't be no problem. But I can't I can't make it dark. So that's the reason why I I'm, I'm very it's hard for me to see because it's white, it's in white, the white background. And this ain't gonna be well. So that's the only reason why I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying and doing what I'm doing. Now this one right here is a list of 140 leading African American inventors on their legacy. Okay, if I click on there, then I see this. So with that, let me see what I can see here. Let's see. Let's see what the first one says. <laughs> Don't say anything. See? It's 140. 140, shorty. Let's see. 14 African American inventors that changed life. That changed American life. Okay, let me see. Let me see if this is now if this is the one I already read. I'm not gonna reread. Uh, let's see. Inventors. Let's see. Where's the first one? Okay, George Crum, 1824-1914. Crum, a chef and restaurant, a resta, restaurant newer. What kind of crap is it? Why come you just gonna say Crum, a chef and an entrepreneur in the restaurant business? That made more sense. <sighs> it's sad to have. Uh, have in, uh, created the potato chip during the summer of 1853. They were made in response to a customer who sent back their fried potatoes after complaining that they were too thick. The crisps were an, an instant hit and through Crumb never patent the creation chips are Arguably, Arger, Arger, really now one of the world's favorite snacks. Now, if he'd a patent that, that brother be sitting on top of the world. Do, 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 do. 
sitting on top of the world. He be sitting on top of the world, but he didn't patent it, man. I can't believe that. That snack is off the chisel, but there go. Let me see. Let me see what he done first before I read it. Because... Okay. Frederick McKinley Jones. I think I read him already. Let me see. Frederick Jones. Yeah, I read him. Frederick Jones. I'm going to paraphrase him. Frederick Jones, he invented the refrigerator equipment and has over 40 patents of it, which is the refrigerator in some of these refrigerator trucks. You see the little refrigerator hanging out back there? He was the one that that uh, invented that, which was more so invented automatic refrigerator, uh, air cooling units for trucks, trains, ships, and planes would help to uh, preserve food and stuff like that. So I've already read him already, but still, he he invented that. Okay, then I'm gonna go down a little bit further. Let me see. Let me see what old Granville T. Woods, 1856 to 1910. Let's see what he did. Let me see. He accumulated nearly 60 patents during his lifetime, many of which improved the the function the functioning of railroad. His most notable are the introduction telegram system, which allowed traveling trains to communicate which one, which one another, while allowing, uh, while also allowing dispatchers to locate them in the first electric powered railroad railway. I didn't know that. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that. Let's see who is it. Love you, Be Beverly. Beverly's in the hell. How you doing, Beverly? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Uh, let's see. George Washington Carver. I've read him before. Let's sum him up. George Washington Carver was the peanut man. He loved peanuts. He invented the peanut. Uh, let me see. Sweet potato and peanuts, which thrived in the South as Let's see, up, up this. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Strived in the South as opposed to dwelling cotton supply and created 518 new products from the crops. This includes ink, dye, soap, cosmetic, flour, vinegar, and symbolic rubber. He uh, revealed his ex experiment in 1914. Now, he invented all that stuff that we use today. Okay, let's see what, uh, well, we knew what Madam C.J. Walker, Madam C.J. Walker, then, uh, she was the, she invented the hair product after my man invented everything. Yeah, she gonna come right behind me and invent the hair product that y'all women use today. Let me see what else. She invented something else. Hold on. Yeah, hair products for the black hair. Yep, that's what she done. Man, let's go on down. Let's see what uh she had not talked about Garnet, Garnet Morgan. He invented the traffic light. Stuff that we use today. Everything I'm telling you, we use it today. And it was it, it was invented by a black person. I'll tell you, boy, I'll tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. He invented the light, traffic light, and what else did he invent? Oh, the gas mask. The gas mask and the traffic light. And I think he invented the uh, the hood that the firemen wear. Like if they do an explosion, they put the hood over the, the helmet over the hood or whatever. And, and Alexander Miles, I think I've talked about him before. He uh, invented the uh, elevators. The door for the elevators to close. He invented that. Who knew that? I didn't know that. I'm, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, before before they even had elevators to close open door, open and close, they had the kind you you had to pull up, pull the thing down, and pull the door down. If not, you fall down the shaft. You fall down the shelf. <laughs> down the shelf. Okay. He invented that. Okay. Um, let's see what this. Is. Percy Lavon Julian. Let's see what he invented. I ain't never, I ain't never heard of him. 
1899 to 1975, American chemist uh, Percy LaVon Julian made various vital viral contributions to modern medicine as a result of experimenting with soybean. He synthesized a drug called and don't get me, don't get me starting on this one because this word is long. Uh, I know it's mean on the end of it. Phosphatidine, which is used to treat glaucoma. Well, I need to know that then because I, I had glaucoma. Uh, Julian also discovered how to make, how to, to mask produce cortisone and the steroid, which was used to produce sex hormones. That brother was off the chain. Well, I didn't know that. Let me see. Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner, 1912 to 2006. Let's see what they got going on. Let me see. Through she filed a total of five patents, Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner is thought to be one of the most forgotten black inventors despite her contributions to society. He patented the sanitary sanitary belt. I don't know what that is. In 1957, which is adjustable and had a moisture proof napkin pocket in the time where women were still using cloth pads for their period. I didn't know that. She also created a serving tray that could be attached to a walking frame a toilet tissue holder and back washer that could be mounted on the wall of the shower. Hmm. That was a new one. I never read that one before. Let's see. Mary Van Britton Brown. Now, Mary Vin Mary Brown, she produced or I think produced. She invented the home in the home security system. Her security system was in, as I read earlier, of a device you put over the peephole, which had a camera and a microphone, where uh, she could uh, monitor. Uh, let me see. Okay, it says her design contained a camera, a two way microphone, peepholes, and monitors, also serving as foundations for today's monitor monitoring system. Now, she invented that. Well, I tell you, boy, these ventures, boy, they say something else. Hey, son, mess. Uh, who is this? Shirley Jackson, born 1946. I see oh, she's standing beside Obama. Let me see what she's been doing. Let's see. Jackson, the first African American woman to earn a doctorate at MIT, is it's responsible for telecommunication research that led to the invention of products such as the Touch tone phone, portable fax, fiber optic cable, and caller ID in, 19, in 2014. President Barack Obama named her the named her the co-chair of the President in, Intelligent Advisory. Man, let me tell you something. If she invented the touch tone phone, I remember the touch tone phone. I remember that easy. So man, that that's that's amazing, man. It's stuff we use like this. Stuff we use today. Just think about that. Something you use today is invented by somebody. Yeah, well, I don't care if they're white, black, Puerto Rican, Chinese, Asian. Red and black, red, red and black, black and white, it don't matter. They press it in his sight. Okay. Mark Dean, born 1957. Dean, who earned a doctrine. At Stanford University, is a co-founder of IBM Original Personal Computer, and the PC Color Monitor, literally changing how we all interact with the internet. Who knew that? I didn't know that either. Shoot, I'm telling you, I'm learning a lot up in this little section. Uh, let's see. 
and the technology that enables primary keyboards and mice to communicate with your computer. That's him too. Man, this dude, but he invented the computer. He invented the little mouse you use, not you or your mouse, but the little mouse that you use. I can throw that in there. He invented all that too. Let's see, who is this? Lewis Johnson, born 1949. He invented, let me see, the engineer developed his mega water gun, which was the super soaker. He invented the super soaker, which is a billion dollar company today. That is crazy. That's crazy, man. The super soaker. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see who this is right here. Lisa. Gail up 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 Opter. Gail, let's see. G G Lopter. That's her name. That's exactly how you say it. Born 1971. Lisa was closely involved in which involved with the 1995 creation of Shockwave as a software engineer. The technology that helped to develop web animation. Think all those GIFs we know and love. She also helped launch Hulu and served on a senior management team. Like I said, all the stuff we use today, Hulu, animated, the GIFs that we use when we go on in our uh, text, text messages or on Facebook, she invented all that stuff, man. I mean, it's just and, and, you know, it's a website you can go on. You can invent your own. But I don't know the website, though. I mean, man, there's just so much going on, man. So much going on. So let's get, hey, let's keep it running. Keep it running. African American inventions in the 20th century. Can I just read that? Let's see. George Washington Carver. Uh. Let's sum up these right here. See, George Washington Carver. Mm. Okay, he invented the Hubble, the Heavy Space Tele Telescope Project. So he's dealing with the telescope. And see, he uh, invented the far ultraviolet spectrograph, a camera designed to view the Earth's atmosphere from, from up to 400 miles above the Earth's surface. Whew. Man, y'all scientists didn't have him. Y'all wouldn't have nothing. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Let me see. James uh, Hoglin, I guess how you say his name, he invented a weight lift, lifting bar in 1979. To help weightlifters prevent injury. And his invention was especially made to help lifters when performing leg exercises such as deep knee back bends. Uh, Jesse supported his support bar, provides support for holding the weights comfortably on the neck and shoulders of, a, of the lifter. I didn't know that. See, stuff we use today. Stuff we use today. What can you do? Let me see what Wolf talking about. Okay, Lee. Hey, hey. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What, what Oreo am I say? I know I said something funny, too. What she said? Okay, no, she ain't saying that. Okay. Let's see. Neil DeGrease Taylor. Is one of the foremost, is one of the African American that currently current that currently direct of the Hayden Planetarium at the Rose Center of Earth and Space in New York City. During his work in either part of the 20th century, Tyson was made significant significant contributions on the topic 
and exploding stars, dwarf galaxies, and the structure of the universe. Well, I tell you, so many people doing so many things. What's this? Health, health and medicine. Dr. Charles Drew. Contributions. Medicine started as a thesis called Bank Blood. Okay. Now what he what he done was he invented invent his invention was vital and the session and the creation of the American Red Cross Blood Book Blood Bank, which he invented a way where he can take blood out of one body and put it in another body, which was pure genius to me. Okay, um, you see affecting everyday life. Uh, Garrett A. Morgan, best known for his creation as a signal machine that helped control the flow of traffic, which was the, uh, the stoplight. That was his invention. Improving industry, industry. Uh, let's see, Elijah McCoy, I read about him. Uh, his invention that proved viable to industrial transportation at, in 1939 has received a patent for the Thermo King, a device that refrigerated the interior of tractor trailers, which is more called today as air conditioning. I'll tell you, boy. And, and plus, it includes uh, keeping food and groceries, you know, chilled at a chill point. Yeah, that. What do you think? <laughs> no, not you. Not you, but the other boss. I got you. <laughs> I, know, I knew you were going to count on. I knew you were going to count on, you know, catch on to that. Let's see. What's this right here? George, George A. Morgan was also responsible for various other inventions in reaction to the deaths of several firefighters. He created a smoke protector hood. And that's what I was talking about. He protected the hood. He uh, invented the hood for the firefighters and the gas man, which was prominent in so many ways. Let's see here. Who was this? Who was the first American scientist to win the Nobel Prize? First award awarded in 1901, the Nobel Prize recognized international experience, I mean, international excellence in six different fields, physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, peace, and economics. Between 1901 and 2017, the, no, the Nobel Committee awarded a total of 896 Nobel Prizes in the, pri in the prizes early years. The vast majority of people winning the no Nobel Peace Prize came from European background. President Theodore Reservoir, 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 well, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Was the first African to win the Nobel Peace Prize and the first American to win any Nobel in the 19, in 1905. Albert Michael, Michael, Michelson followed in 1907 by winning Nobel Peace Prize in physics. Well, who knew? I didn't know. Let me see. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. A chemistry professor at Howard University, Theodore W. Richardson, became the second American scientist to receive a Nobel Prize. He was the first to receive the award for chemistry during the 1907 Nobel Prize. Awards. That's good. I mean, everybody winning these awards, man. That's an honor. Most famous American winner. Perhaps the most famous American Nobel winner was not an American citizen at the time of the award. 
German-born Albert Einstein received his award in 1922 for groundbreaking work in physics. His research took place when he was working at the Kaiser Institute in Berlin. In Berlin, Einstein left Germany to for potential reasons in 1933 and took refuge in the United States. He took on African. He took on American citizen in 1940 and died in Princeton, New Jersey, in 1955. Boy, I tell you, boy, you know, you know me. You know, you know me. What? Let's see what's going on up in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my reading for the day. Could go on and on and on, but the like the more I read, the more I repeat myself. What? Let's see what else I can find, Doc, because I'm kind of burning his time up. Let's see here. Oh, let me ask y'all something. What y'all do today? How's y'all day going so far? What y'all eat for lunch? I ain't ate yet, so I don't know what I'm eating for lunch, to be honest with you. I might not eat lunch. I might just skip and go straight to dinner. That's what I might do. Let's see here. Dr. Shirley Jackson is an American psychiatrist who received her PhD from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1973. That was right after I was born. That tell you right there, I don't know what's going on. Uh, her experience, oh, one minute. She, she was the first African-American woman to earn a doctrine in nuclear fission and at MIT, in, in addition of, to her lengthy list of academic achievement, she also has an impressive number of investments under her belt. Man, let's see what she invented then. Come on, girl. Her experiments with uh, see, physics, physics pro paved the way for numerous development in the te te tele telecommunication space, including the touch tone. Okay, this is the one with the touch tone telephone, the portable fat, call ID, call waiting, and the fiber octave cable. That chick was smart. That chick was smart. What's this? I did some art. Oh, I like to see that art, Oreo. Drawing, hey, you gonna make a video of it? I can come on over and comment. You gonna make a video? Uh, like I said, all these, it's just repeating itself. That's all I'm doing. I'm repeating itself. I don't want to read them all. <gasps> Wait a minute. What is this? Inventors? What is, what did Jay Z do? Let's see. Chris Gardner. Chris Paul Gardner, Chris Gardner, Christopher Paul Chris Gardner is an African American. It's an at, oh, let me let me rephrase that. Okay, let me redo that again. Okay, Chris Gardner, Christopher Paul Chris Gardner is an American entrepreneur, investor, stockbroker, motivational speaker, author, and philanthropist. Doing, I don't, I don't read that. Who's doing a lot in the world? I'm gonna put it that way. Robert F. Smith. Let's see what he do. Uh, he was the founder, chairman, or CEO of Vesta Equal Equal. What's this? Equal Partners, an investment firm with over 14 billion in assets. But, Damn no more. Let's see what old Jay Z done done. You don't say what Jay Z done done. I'm not gonna click on that. I'll be here all day. E40 the same way. Who else in here? 50 Cent and Master P. We always know. We already know what they done done. Come on here now. Whoop whoop. 
I'll read that at another time. Right now, my eyes are gone. I love drawing too. L O S. I like drawing too because of what I'm drawing. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, I thank y'all for coming to my channel. You know, again, my eyes, I need to rest my eyes. Uh, I've been straining them as I've been reading. And hopefully, um, I'll be in somebody's live later on today. And it's seven o'clock. Hopefully, my sister will be on, will be on live with me at seven o'clock. Uh, she hadn't texted me and said she wasn't coming. So she, she at first she said she was getting over COVID. So maybe she'll be able to come in. Well, not COVID. I mean, getting over the booster shot. She had like a little experience with the booster shot. So look, hopefully she'll come in and throw a little speech in there. And or like I say, I told her to make, make, make want to sing a little something, something, you know, and promote your book. But uh, that's that's what's going on today at seven or I don't know. I know a lot of people got a lot of stuff going on, but if it was any day but today, I'd have been all right. Or maybe a little bit later, a little bit earlier, but she, you know, she only gonna be on for a few minutes, not long, just enough to, you know, talk or talk, walk or walk. You know, what you know, you know how I do, you know how we do, you know how we do. But uh I don't know if anybody wanna come up or not. Hmm. I ain't saying you gotta come up, but you know. Maybe I want to wait till late on. I might go on live late on tonight. I don't know yet. Try to do it twice a day now. I got to catch it up. It's a catch up season. Next month is birthday month. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. Now, I know when I get off today, when I get off in a few minutes, I got to take, uh, I got to do Sunday service. But I ain't do it Sunday. Like I said, my videos is off because I've been I, I've been off. So you know, you that you just got to do that drip, you know, drip, 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 drip. Mario Monster, drip, drip, drip. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You just don't know. Soup. We might have, I might have to go live next. We, we gotta get your we gotta get your man some line, man. Check it, brother. I miss old Eric. You know what I'm saying? I miss him, man. You know? I miss him, man. See what he be talking about. They might keep sending me stuff on Facebook. See we, oh I did drop a video by the way just a few minutes ago, but you know it is what it is. It is what it is, homie. Oh boy. So, I'm about to get off here. I got to go to the store, grab some cabbage. We can free fix some pot roast and fried cabbage tonight. So, I'm going to have to film that right after. Uh, might be before my sister comes. I don't know yet. But that's in the process for tonight. Um, y'all continue to have a good day. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that came in my live. I appreciate the, all the words of encouragement. I appreciate all the, all the, um, the laughter that's going on. In the um, you know, in the um, in the chat, I appreciate all the um Bible verses that was dropped. Uh, like I said, y'all encouraged me to go on because earlier I was gonna quit. A lot of you know, I'm being honest with you. I was gonna quit because my eyes were bothering me so bad. That's why I struggled, but I still took my time. I still got it done. You know, um, like I said, I'm about to bring different things to the channel. While I'm going live, I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I remember myself so can bring my hat collection now. I got a few right here. Y'all see these already? You know, I got, I got Oklahoma. I'm gonna do a video on it. I got my Georgia Bulldog hat. I got my Oklahoma. I mean, just to save a few, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna do a video on it because I got, I got a few more that I ain't even showed yet. So. That being said, y'all be good, be blessed. I'll see y'all later on, probably. And remember, you're too blessed to be stressed. Always remember, love and happiness at all times. Um, if, if you see somebody that's struggling, don't be afraid to lend out a helping hand. Um, somebody come to you and want to borrow $2, give it to them if you got it. You know what I'm saying? You, you'd be surprised with that $2 do. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
just stay focused, stay positive. I'll, I'm going to do the same. You know, I'm not going to be – I'm not easy to quit on certain things. I'll keep going, going and going like the Energizer, like the energizer Bunny. Just sometimes I get to the point where I just want to quit, but I look up in the comment section, I see scriptures and people just, you know, just just talking to me, you know what I mean? Like, I can do it, and I see all my friends come in, and, you know, I see prayer like this one right here. I see prayer going on, and I mean, you know, that might stay on a little bit longer. I see words of encouragement. I mean, I mean, y'all, y'all bless me every day, man. And without y'all, there's no me. And I love you too, guys, girl. I love you too. I remember, I remember when I first came in your live. I was searching, I was searching on the uh, on YouTube, and it, it, you popped up in my uh, my suggestion box. And I said. Go on here and see what's going on. When I jumped in there, I liked it ever since. And then we did a raid to Dana. And then from Dana's to Minister Minister of Music. I mean, it just it just trickled on down. I'm like, you know, I, I I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed by you. You don't know, you just don't know. I appreciate everything you've done. Um, even help me out with this other thing which I'm about to put together. I'm gonna get with you. I got your email, I'm gonna get with you. And um I don't know. I just I'm blessed by all y'all, man. Then I met Wolf, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Oreo Mouse. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just joking. And Oreo Mouse, you know, all y'all cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Dana, Joe. I mean, it's a bunch of y'all. I can't name Beverly. I can't name all y'all. Ariel. I mean, you know, I'm just blessed by y'all, man. I just, I just appreciate it. So y'all just have a good day. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, like I said, I have to, I have to, I'm stretching. So y'all continue to do what y'all do. And until the next video, be there, be swerved. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.